Hey guys, uh, this is Nirmal for NirmalTV.com and uh, today we are going to see a new launcher app for Android and it's called uh, Aviate Launcher. So one of the powerful features of Android is the amount of customizations you can do with your home screen, apps, etc. So there are quite a lot of, lot of uh, launcher apps available for Android um, like Go Launcher, Nova Launcher, etc. And we have co already covered a few of them on our blog as well. So uh, the launcher apps allow you to customize your home screen to your liking like arrange them uh, based on widgets, uh, icons for uh, shortcuts for apps etc. And now we have a new launcher which is called Aviate. So this launcher is uh, currently in uh, beta. So it's invite only currently. So um, we have got uh, an invite to try out the Aviate launcher. So uh, we'll we'll do a quick uh, review of uh, this launcher and how it works. So unlike other uh, default, I mean other Android launchers, uh, AV8 has a pretty simple UI. It has a card-based approach uh, similar to Google Now. So as you, as soon as you install uh, the app, uh, the AV8 launcher, you can see that. Uh, it has a it has three home screens one is uh, the uh, the home screen where you can add widgets second is the collections and third is the app list so these are the three home screens available and this is fixed and you cannot uh, customize it anymore uh, but uh, on top of this you can add a few options like we'll, we'll describe those options here so first of all uh, the home screen uh, where you can add widgets so these are uh, the two widgets i have currently added so this is the clock as well as the weather information then you have uh, some icons at the bottom where, which can be added which can be removed or you can add new ones you can just press and hold and then remove it you can see the remove from the favorites so this is the favorites option where you can add your um, um, uh, app list uh, which you are frequently using so th those options you can uh, customize it uh, from here then you have the collections uh, collections are uh, um, different uh, uh, categories where the apps installed on your android phone are uh, grouped uh, according to their uh, uh, category so this is done automatically by the ev8 launcher and it does a pretty good job here see you can see right now it's work social games uh, news music um, maps etc so this uh, this is the automatically sorting is automatically done by the aviate launcher and which is pretty uh, which uh, which has been done uh, pretty neatly so you can see the app list uh, in uh, each of them uh, by clicking the small icon here so that will expand the list so you can add or remove uh, uh, items to this list or you can just uh, drag and drop from say if you want to remove from work and then to social you can just uh, <coughs> Uh, press and hold and then uh, move it then you can ha uh, you can view all the collections there are quite a lot of collections like uh, uh, see you can see entertainment uh, finance uh, fit fitness uh, games uh, music news etc so you can see visibility of uh, each uh, collection so if i click here it will show the visibility for restaurants then settings uh, etc so those are the options you can do from the collection so now when you click ok uh, you can see those collections uh, will be added here see you can see here settings uh, restaurant added here now uh, you can you can uh, uh, drag and re rearrange the collection say if i click here and then uh, i just move here you can uh, rearrange the um, collections based on which you need uh, to be visible at the top so that is uh, what, it, what is in collections now on the last home screen you can see all the apps listed so this is uh, listed according to the alphabetic order uh, so you can easily find out apps uh, uh, which you want based on the uh, ordering so you have uh, the alphabets listed out here you can just uh, scroll through them and then uh, view the apps uh, the scrolling is uh, pretty fast uh, there is no lag whatsoever and it's uh, very very fast uh, even uh, for a beta version this is really cool uh, uh, speed then in the home screen you can add widgets as i so said before see so if you just press and hold uh, you can see this option remove this widget add another widget or add, add another photo you can even add a photo to the home screen so let's uh, go about and add a new widget so you can see all the widgets um, which are available on my phone so let me just add one widget here so let's uh, go ahead and add uh, okay let's uh, 
let's add this one battery uh, beautiful widgets uh, battery so as you can see when I add uh, this widget I uh, say like now just configure this okay you can see right now I have added a new widget here uh, the battery icon so whenever you add a new widget uh, the spaces are adjust, uh, adjusted automatically so if you have a widget which has uh, pretty much high content uh, you will have difficulties in uh, reading it say for example you have a widget which is uh, which is your email or uh, say Twitter uh, and uh, you have added uh, three or four widgets here then it makes it difficult to read the read and scroll through the widgets um, on the home screen so it's better to have only either one or two widgets or at the max so three widgets because um, adding more of more widgets uh, will make the home screen uh, pretty congested and um, it will make it uh, difficult to read so those are the options in uh, the home screen you can add widgets and you can remove them then you can see at the top uh, uh, um, an option to view the date time and uh, when you just uh, um, uh, open it up you can see the, uh, the weather displayed uh, for the current location so this location is uh, automatically selected uh, by the app now at the last uh, you have uh, the spaces you just swipe uh, from uh, left to right you can see the spaces spaces are uh, there are different spaces like time that uh, the, uh, that will show the time and weather on the top then if you select work you can see the um, calendar and other apps uh, in the work then you have the settings uh, the aviate settings uh, settings you have the quickly quick launch icons like wi-fi bluetooth uh, location brightness etc you can see the battery level and then you have the power saving mode uh, turn off um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Sync and Brightness, uh, so that is there. Then you have the color light and dark theme. So when I select light theme, uh, it will uh, switch to white color, white color background. And then when I switch to, when I select um, uh, dark theme, it will uh, switch to black background. So apart from that, uh, in the settings, you also have, uh, you can also add icons here. You can add apps here. So you can uh, click on this and then add uh, other apps which are, uh, uh, which are uh, which you can in, use it from uh, the settings menu so those are the options in uh, settings then you have a uh, going somewhere spaces which will uh, show you the directions so you can set your home uh, home locations and then you can navigate from there then you have uh, nearby places uh, this is uh, integrated to foursquare so it will uh, display all the locations which are currently near to your place uh, this is include uh, restaurants um, um, I mean uh, restaurants, other places, uh, supermarkets, uh, then um, all the locations which are near you based on the four square. So let's see if you if I select uh, this one, you can see uh, you can see this option uh, four square check in. So you can uh, check in to this location from here. And uh, if you if you are uh, if you want to um, select other locations, you can uh, you can uh, say for example uh, we'll just see this uh, restaurant. Uh, this grills you can see uh, so you can see this option here you can check in here and you can also view the four square uh, connected to this so that way it is a pretty uh, good uh, implementation and uh, simple and uh, easy to use uh, ui so overall uh, a bit launcher is pretty good uh, but then uh, there are a few shortcomings like the home screen widgets if you if you love uh, adding uh, quite a lot of widgets to your home screen then uh, uh, this will have uh, some issues like you can add only a uh, few few widgets to the home screen because it gets congested if you add more and you can you have only home, one home screen to add the widgets so that way it is uh, uh, it is having a shortcoming but then this the idea is having a simple launcher instead of having too many home screens and too many uh, widgets uh, this has a simple approach and uh, does the job well the collections are uh, really arra arranging the apps into different categories uh, and it does the job uh, pretty neatly here and then finally you have the apps uh, list which is uh, sorted uh, based on the alphabetic order so overall uh, pretty good uh, launcher this is currently in uh, beta version uh, so you you have to request for invite so once you get the invite you can uh, install it from the play store and start using it so overall uh, we like this um, evit launcher and we have we are sure that uh, the final version will have uh, better features and maybe more options uh, uh, to customize uh, your home screen so overall uh, this is a very good launcher and uh, you can uh, get the invite and install it on your android so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, if you like this video do subscribe to our youtube channel for all the latest updates